the time has finally arrived. This is the Dana Carmont Bikinis International Extravaganza for 2013. VIP area for my special sponsors that made the show happen. We have the back, we have the stage, we have the runway, as I promised. Nice long runway and everyone is starting to arrive. So the place looks great. Everyone just seems really happy. So it's, it seems really like a really good, nice vibe. So I'm really happy. The judges are here, Heather's here, the door girl's here, photographers are here. He is here! Woo! He! And the show's gonna start in like 10 minutes' time. So watch out, everybody! Do you think you will feel nervous at some point? Yeah, probably when I... Sorry, no, no, I'm talking to you. Thank you. And I'm a friend. Um, do you know you're at the back here? Am I? Like, this knot isn't in the middle, it's over here. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, oh, no I didn't know that. Off. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Fixing! Got it? Mm. Yeah, it's cool. She's got your back. She's got my back. Yeah, I'm okay. Anything can happen. Yeah, no. I'm just kidding. happy to be here. No worries. Happy to end my the competition season with a bang. Nervous. Nervous. I'm excited. And excited. Excited. Yes. excited. I just want to get into my next round already though. I want to get into the dress. Get into the dress. I need an alcoholic beverage or ten. Or food. Nauseous. Nauseous. You're going to party up tonight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With food. I'll say question. that it's finished. I'm going to get smashed. I'm just going to line up the shots. Oh. Hi, I'm Cleo Brown. I'm four times Miss Fitness Universe, two times Miss Fitness World, one time Miss Fitness Olympia, and one time Miss Fitness America. Also PNBA Bikini Pro Champion for Universe and PNBA Bikini Pro Champion for Fitness America. Uh, my role here tonight is to judge the girls. So we're, based, we're judging two different divisions, the fitness girls and the bikini girls. And we're looking for the face of the Dana Kamon brand. For the bikini girls, I'm looking for something that's a little softer. It should be sexy, but not sexual, if that makes sense. Um, some curves and nothing going horizontal in the abs. For the fitness girls, on the other hand, it's a little different, so we're wanting something that's harder. Anything going horizontal, that's great. So six pack, fantastic. Uh, and also, you know, the girls are having to speak tonight, which is awesome, and we're we're judging that as well, just to see what kind of confidence they bring out when they're actually uh, put on the spot. Hi, I'm MJ. I'm here to judge the Danny Carmont Extravaganza. I uh, can't wait to see all the beautiful girls on stage. So the sort of things I'm going to be looking for in all the girls is basically a um, an overall package. So obviously a beautiful body, but got to have the beautiful face and just glamorous all, all around. Um, and a little bit of attitude, a little bit cute, but not too over the top. It's a really big change for me. It's really, really nice not to be up there and being the one judged. It's nice to be able to judge someone and not feel the pressure of it. However. I judged the last one for Dana and um, it was really difficult. The girls bring top standard and we actually really struggled to to judge the girls because there was this good quality. So um, sometimes you, I guess you sort of hope that they're not, not as hard to judge because it's difficult. Like you think being a judge is, is the easy thing but it's not. So I think it's just as hard as being up on stage. So. Hi, I'm Angie Moore. Um, I've been competing in fitness and bikini for the last four years. So I'm heading into my fifth year now. I'm a masters competitor, so for the over 40s. This year was the first year they've had a masters division in Australia, and I've just placed second at IFBB Nationals last weekend. And I'm a mum of one of an 11 year old daughter. The hardest thing is that you know that everyone's worked just as hard as each other to get up on stage. And so you've really got to look at it, you know, from um, a symmetry point of view. Um, it's, it's really, really difficult because everyone always looks so amazing. But yeah, you've just got to break it down. 
Yeah, the way a girl carries herself, like within her walk, you know, her posing. Um, you can usually tell if someone's been practicing a lot. I'm actually a posing coach, um, you know, during competition competition season, and seeing a girl up there who you can tell has practiced and is taking it really, really seriously. To me, that always stands out. Are you ready? Yes. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. I'm just waiting for one sponsor to arrive. I can't start without them. So they're going to get up when I see them. As soon as they're here, the show's going to start. But before the show starts, I would like to invite Dana Colmont to the stage to say a few words to start the evening off. Dana, if you can please come to the stage. Yeah, Dana. I would just like to say thank you to everyone that has made this event happen this evening. There are so many people to thank and I'm actually running on chewing gum, water and adrenaline right now. So if I haven't mentioned you, I'm really sorry, but you will um, you know I do appreciate everything you've done this evening and also to the lead up to the whole entire extravaganza. Our major sponsors, Nutrition Warehouse, thank you so much, Grant. We couldn't have done this without you. TFS, thank you, Terry Bellamy, and all the other boys as well, including Adam Husband. If you're here, put your hand up. Is he here yet? He's in trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I just also wanted to let you know that this evening is the first time I've. It, it's just been an incredible journey for me getting this together. I was in the car with a group of girls a couple of months ago, going back 12 weeks, and I said to them, God, it'd be so good to have my own competition. They're like, oh my God, you should do it. And I went, oh my God, I will. So literally that moment, my head was going a million miles an hour, and he was with me, my videographer who's amazing, he does all my shows. He couldn't believe that literally in four weeks I had the poster, I had everything organised, I booked the venue, I'd done it all. And he was like, oh my God, you've seriously done this? And I was like, yes, Hing, you know what I say, I do. So it's like, this is just such a dream come true for me to be able to do something for the girls. It's about getting the girls out there and getting people to know what health and fitness is all about rather than just being pushed in a sideline of, you know, the actual competitions themselves. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported me, everyone that has believed in me, everybody that has even helped me today, who's actually emailed me to ask to put up their hand to help. I really appreciate it. And let me tell you, this will not be the last one. We have five on the calendar next year already, interstate, only because there have been so many girls wanting to be part of this extravaganza. They couldn't make it to the international because they had already run their season out over the past three to six months. <laughs> so keep an eye out for bigger events that are going to come up for 2014. Once again, thank you for all your support and everyone that bought tickets to come along to the event today. You've really made this an amazing opportunity for all the girls and to make them feel very special. So thank you once again.
actually for the year. So. What am I having? We're having champagne! Yay! And strawberries? And lots of strawberries. And lots of strawberries. Chocolate coated, of course. It came very well. We um, had 13 girls through, I think. Um, and all girls looked amazing, as they usually do, as always. Fit, fit bodies, and uh, as you can see tonight, lots of lots of fit girls out again. But yeah, Dana and I have been doing this together for years now, so we've got usually the big group stuff pretty under control, especially having to do multiple girls all the time. So yeah, you churn through them pretty quickly. Is it always like that with Dana? Uh, usually, yes. So we have very big days. So and yeah, we try and just keep it all on one day. We try and keep it short to keep the models fresh and keep you know the. You know, after a while in the sun, hair goes, makeup goes, so try to keep it short and sweet, get the best result that way. So, so as, a, as a photographer, this kind of fast pace... Um, it's just normal. <laughs> it's just normal everyday life. Like, I shoot like that even without data. Because I just find the girls get too tired and too exhausted and there's no point in shooting, you know, this same outfit 700 times in the same pose. So, do it, you know, 50 times, stop, get into the next outfit and keep going. What has... Uh, what does it mean for you personally and professionally to work with them? Well, Dana and I came to meet under very unusual circumstances. I hosted the um, Australian Swimsuit Edition magazine um, cover girl competition a couple of years ago. And Dana randomly emailed me asking if I needed a swimsuit sponsor for the cover shoot. And I said yes. And here we are, three years later. So uh, that was back before Dana really started with the stage bikini. She's still a lot of boutique work. And um, now all the stuff you see, all the blingy stuff, is all of her new sports, sportswear collection, which I've watched grow over the years, which has been really great. So yeah, we've been together a long time. is incredible actually. There's a really diverse range of women um, from the bikini division and the fitness model division. Um, some amazing bikinis coming out, some great uh, speeches and now we're about to look at the costumes and the dress of the night.
Is anyone talking about who they think is going to win? Yes, I oh, think. What, what are you? What are you? I what's your pick? Brazilian looking lady is going to win. What's her name? Um, you told me before. I'm not sure I don't know what her name is. Names. What costume did she wear? She's blue. Ah, uh, she, oh, the, she wore the, the, the no, no, the um, Brazilian. What are they called? What the Brazilian? Oh, the uh, Mardi Gras type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The big feather thing. It's Caroline. Yeah, I think I think she's the one. Okay. And Wonder Woman's got pretty. Yeah, her or Wonder really Woman. Nice. Alright, good. Has anyone been talking about who they think is going to win? We have no idea. No. I'm happy with the way it goes. I honestly can't tell who's going to win. Yeah, there's yeah. no like. Aren't you going to win? Sorry? Aren't you going to win? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Winner right here. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> winner right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Everyone hopes it's them, yeah. but everyone seems to be like a bunch of chicks. Like, yeah. I hope I win. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bag of lollies. Well, that's right. Well, maybe after the show, the first thing that's going in our mouths will be some champagne. French champagne. French champagne. We're not yeah. drinking sparkling wine. Which and I believe Dan has got some chocolate coated strawberries. Yes. So they've been going in there too. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to announce the winner for the bikini division tonight. Dana is just about to pass me an envelope. It's in this envelope, ladies. <laughs> the winner tonight for the bikini model that is representing Dana Clamont in the United States of America is... Don't you love it when they go quiet? Kara Congratulations, Kara. The fitness model that is called out this evening will be the second model competing and representing Dana Carmont bikinis in the USA. May I please ask Michael Atkins from TFS to please come up to the stage to hand out the trophy to the fitness model representative. Okay, Dana, Dana, <laughs> Dana. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the envelope in my hands. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, fitness models. The winner of the fitness model division that will be going off to USA is Kelly Kelly. had fun. I know every, everyone's been amazing for the whole entire day. I can't thank you enough for being amazing women. And you know what? These guys have really become such a close family in a matter of, you know, nine to ten hours. They've all been so supportive. They've all looked after each other. They've all helped each other. And that's what extravaganza is all about, being family. So... <laughs> Now, it was so hard for me to choose the new face of the label for 2014, but I have come to a decision, and obviously um, Kelly and Caroline have been the face of the label for um, 2013, and will continue on to next year because I love them. <laughs> now, the new face of the label for 2014, Claire Murphy. Woo! 
Then say something, slide out with your lady My hips are get so bad My style is too low quality Got grips and models, so spin the bottle Girl, I'm just getting started Get up, get up, get up, get up Cheers to the extravaganza of the 2013 It was an amazing success Everyone's loved it, everyone's had a great time So I'm looking forward to 2014 Cheers Um, I just want to say a big thank you to um, pretty much everyone who's here for one. It's the end of the comp season, so I guess it's taken some energy to get here. Um, Dana for organising the whole thing and planning it. All of the judges and the photographers and everyone involved and everyone for coming out to watch. Oh, obviously, thank you very much to the judges and to Dana for making an excellent show and competition. You did a wonderful job as MC, thank you. And Hing and, and photographers and obviously me my family for coming to the show. So everything was just done amazingly well this evening and that was with the help of everyone that wanted to be a part of the event today. So I really thank everybody and three cheers for you all for coming here today. Thank you so much. Cheers everybody. The bubbles up my nose. What's the first thing that you're going to put in your mouth? So you think of the talent so far? Whoops. Can you turn around this way? <laughs> well, you got naked ladies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're everywhere.